if you make the model turn to the left, the lighting will change. So you can try different things. Ask the model to look outside. Then ask the model to look straight. Then ask the model to look right. Look down. Look up. But the position otherwise doesn't change. Second thing, the light now is very low. All right. So you have to bump up your eyes. You have to shoot with the lowest aperture. So you see, Rohit is very smart. He has taken out his 50 mm 1.8. Okay. So he's going to shoot at 1.8, wide open. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you have to shoot wide open, whatever you can. Yours will be wide open, will be 5.6. Mm. Yours yeah, also 5. will be 5.6. Yeah. Okay. But if you have a, that's why I said always have a at least one lens, which is 100 mm 2.8. It's a worthwhile lens, both for macro and for portraits and for any kind of pictures like this. It's a fantastic hand carry lens. So, you know, it's not very expensive. You can even buy a non IS lens, it will still give you fantastic results. So, right now you can, you know, try and, exp you know, see, when you shoot here, your, your shutter speed should be not less than 125th of a second. That means you have to keep on bumping your ISO, get to your aperture priority, and Underexposed by one stop, underexposed by two stops. Okay. We, yesterday we talked about bracketing from the cabin, so mm. do the bracketing here. So, bracketing, lowest oh, wide open, and make sure your shutter speed is above 125th of a second, or at least 125th of a second. Worst case scenario, 180th of a second. Mm. 